Okay, I wanted to discuss the latest version of Polar and what has gone into this release. The biggest uh, change that we've made by far is with tags. So um, one of them is that uh, tags, the tag dialog when you go to tag a document, um, change tags as well, it's centered. It's no longer next to the, um, uh, the tag button. Uh, primarily because when you would be down here and scrolling, it would actually go below the actual viewport. And so now it's centered. Uh, additionally, I think for all, we want to migrate to key, uh, key bindings for everything. So this way, uh, all the key bindings and filter bindings and everything will all be centered. Uh, so it's, it's going to be an easier interface. Also, the tags uh, to the uh, left are now first level objects, which means they can have colors and they could ha can have icons in the future. It's not implemented yet, but uh, it is possible in the future. We're going to add, you know, change color here um, when uh, that's available, probably the next release. Um, and then on the annotations view, we now show that the tags for an annotation, and directly inside the annotation viewer, you can change the tags. So you don't need to go to the viewer to change the tags on an annotation. And you know, you could add whatever tag you wanted here. Uh, just add a test one, it'll then uh, immediately pop up right in there. Also the uh, left side annotation, uh, I guess the list of the annotations is ordered by last updated time. I'm probably going to put another sort column here for created as well, so you can order it by last updated or created, but I don't have that just yet. So, um, and additionally, if you go to the document repository, and let's just pick a document. This is just sort of my test document. I'm going to open it up. And then the annotations for there, sorry, my machine is a little slow. The annotations for there are also here as well. So if we go back here, now this is loaded. Um, if we change a tag for this, Let's just add aardvark as a test tag. So that will now be tagged aardvark, right? And then if we go back to here, um, notice this is the top one a few seconds ago, and aardvark appears there. And then, you know, conversely, I can remove the tag here, and it'll obviously be reflected in the tags there. So, um, th you know, this is great. This is the, a big feature that's been requested by our users because they want to add tags like uh, to do or you know high priority low priority things like that they want annotations directly for the tags and with the tags user interface now you can um, you know you can manage your tags here a little bit better and you can tag them directly and, and you can also delete them uh, delete the annotation if you want um, additionally you can do the same thing for comments and flashcards so they can have tags too and if you're syncing to Anki they will be preserved uh, they should be. Um, they uh, will be preserved when they get synced over. And um, one of the other things that we're looking to do, uh, uh, looking forward to doing in the future here is we're going to add uh, support for key bindings. I'm still working on it. There's a few other things that I'm trying to get done that are um, sort of high, higher level uh, React changes. So uh, key bindings, um, better drag and drop, and also more mobile support. So we're working on... Um, we do have a, a mobile progressive web app, so if you load Polar on your phone, it'll load. But uh, we want to get it in the Android App Store. So one of the things we're doing is we're trying to improve the user interfa interface so it sort of scales across both. So uh, towards that end, we're uh, working on rewriting this viewer. So um, it's hard to explain, but this, uh, on, on the right here, is this is done in React, and on the left, this is done in uh, plain old JavaScript. It's PDFJS's internal viewer. We're going to um, build our own viewer on top of this that will also support EPUB and better support for HTML. Um, we're actively researching that and trying to get that done. Hopefully it can get into the next release. But the advantage to that is that we would have um, the PDF and EPUB and HTML on your mobile device, on your phone. Um, and specifically tablet devices because uh, a lot of our users want to use iPads and I actually have an iPad so now I can uh, make sure our code is ported over. So 
making a lot of progress. This is a big release. Um, this is a, a, a you know highly requested feature by our users. So um, please uh, give us feedback. If it's working, if it's not working, let us know. Um, I think this release will be 1.100, and it should go out in, I think it'll be live today or tomorrow. Thank you.